What's up everyone, it is TSJ. Welcome back to another install video. This is the one that everyone has been waiting for, uh, for since the most recent update uh, for Napoleon Total War. Literally right after I uploaded uh, NTW3 uh, 9.3, um, NTW3 put out an update and then soon after the, um, I, it was in response to the Creative Assembly updates for Napoleon Total War. So this is all good news, right? I mean, because they're, they're, they're continuously updating the game. Um, and I'm sorry it took me so long to get to this 9.4 update, but, um, you know, I got a very busy and had to wait for the campaigns to be uploaded. And it's all here, so let's, let's get down to it. This is a very easy install. Um, they made it very simple. Um, there's just a couple steps, one, one extra step um, that is very important that it will not work uh, if you want to play the European campaign. We'll get to that um, in, in a little bit. If you, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or uh, just want to say hi. Alright, so what you're going to want to do first is make sure you have a completely fresh version of Napoleon Total War. So what that means is um, uninstall it on Steam, delete the, the folders in the Creative Assembly and in, in uh, common Steam apps in the game. Like everything, you want a completely new install. So after you install it, make sure you run it one time just to set the preferences and all that. And once you've done that, you can get to where I'm at now. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, is uh, just type in NTW3 into Google, should pop up ModDB, go to Files, um, and then what you're going to want to do is download these for NTW3 9.4 Core Hotfix Europe and Peninsula. Alright, and so as you can see, so you'll, you know, you'll click Core, Download Now, okay? Um, and then as you can see in my downloads, they're all here, okay? So the first one you have to do is Core. Um, because that is the base of, of the um, mod and it might take a little bit. Now this is really important because the installation process for core is the same. Um, it is the same uh, for the subsequent uh, parts of the mod. So the campaigns um, and, and the hotfix um, as well. So I don't know why it's taking so long. There we go. Um, so what you're going to do is this is going to come up and it probably isn't going to go it's going to just assume that you want to extract it where it's located. We, of course, do not. So you're going to want to go to this PC, your C drive, Programs 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Napoleon Total War, and click OK. Now, um, you always want it to be just um, to be uh, directed to your Napoleon Total War base folder. I saw, based off a few comments on the mod page, that it seems like some people were having problems with the drive. Um, I, I can't speak if it's the same for the D drive, I would imagine it is. Um, it, that is if your game is installed on your D drive. So this of course is really helpful to those um, who, who, are, who are looking for help um, for the game, for installing the mod on their C drive, but all the same, you know, if, it, if you have the game on your D drive, just know that there may be a different step. But anyway, so you're going to want to click Extract. I've already installed it, so I'm going to click Cancel. But you click Extract, and you're going to see a green bar start to load, um, and you will have installed it correctly. Then you're going to want to do the hot fix, which, you know, should be very quickly. It's a very small uh, installation. Same thing. This PC, Program Files 86, okay, Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Napoleon Total War, OK, Extract, OK? You're going to do the same exact thing for Peninsula and Europe, OK? So kind of maybe pause the video, install those same way. Then what you're going to do is before you run the mod, of course, make sure you have Steam running, is you're going to go to your Napoleon Total War, Data, Campaigns, and then see what I've done here. NTW3. You need to make a folder and name it NTW3. This is to this is so that you can play the European um, campaign, the co the campaign of the coalitions. If you don't do this, you won't be able to play. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Um, so now that you've done that, you can go back to data NTW3 launcher, and then you can you know I I run it as administrator. And then the launcher will pop up, um, and you can click, say, Europe 1805. And there you have it. So this is uh, the main menu, campaign 
of coalitions, and there you go. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. But if not, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay super, and I'll see you all next time.